Hi everyone, it's Aika and for today's video, I will be sharing with you guys how to film and edit using your iPhone. So I'm sure you clicked on this video because you want to start creating your videos for YouTube but you don't really know where to begin or like what equipment to use. I started filming my videos only using my iPhone 8 Plus like two years ago. It worked really well for me. I'm gonna share with you guys the basics and some tips and tricks on how to keep your videos interesting. We're gonna start off with the tools that you need. So of course your iPhone, a tripod. This depends. If you just want to be vlogging you can just use your arm to like film yourself but if you want a more stable equipment this is something you can use. This is just a handheld tripod. I also have this one. I think I got this from one of my tripods. It came with it. You just um, attach it to the tripod and you can foot, you can foot, <laughs> and then you can put your phone here like that. See? So if you want a bigger tripod, you can use the one I'm using right now. I'm gonna insert a photo here and I'm also gonna put links to where you can buy them in the description box. So first things first, of course, I'm gonna share with you guys my tip on how to film your video using an iPhone. I actually found out about this from TikTok. I'm low-key convinced that iPhone camera is sometimes better than like my filming camera. Here you can actually adjust the quality of your videos by going to your settings. Go to the camera button here and then press record video. So here you can see the different settings that you can film on. You can even film up to 4K but that's gonna consume a bunch of your memory so personally for me I film at the 1080 rate it just proves to show that you don't really need a fancy equipment to start your own YouTube channel like your phone works so going on to the second part of creating a video which is editing so editing is essentially putting a bunch of clips together and then cutting the clips that you don't want in your video and if you're feeling more creative you can add your own twist to it like adding text transitions, different effects to make the video more fun and interesting. I'm gonna show you guys the basics of editing using this app called Magic Video Maker and they're also sponsoring today's video so I'm gonna put their link in the description box to where you can download it so you can also practice or edit your video with me. At the top left corner you're gonna see create and beside that is called the AI quick cut. First let's head on to create. So I'm just going to select the videos that I'm going to use here. So the first part of editing is cutting out the ones that you don't want in your video. So for example, those are the awkward pauses, um, video of you like stuttering, basically like everything you don't want other people to see. How you're gonna do that is, of course you're gonna wanna watch through the video, and then if there's an awkward pause, you just hit split and hit another split to where you wanna cut the video. And then after that, you just delete it. You just do that to all the clips. This portion usually takes a lot of time because, you know, we're not perfect. We make mistakes. I'm gonna share with you guys a function from this application to make you edit faster. They have this feature called AI Quick Cut. This automatically removes segments without sounds. So that can help you edit more efficiently. To do this, you're gonna go back to the home page and press AI Quick Cut and select the video that you want to edit. And it's gonna automatically like remove the silent segments for you. This is really helpful if you're filming a long video and you keep pausing. This feature can help you shorten your editing time. Here at the bottom section, you can adjust the settings. I also want to edit this b-roll of me just putting the products like my makeup products on the table. You can use this one if you're gonna create a makeup video to keep things more interesting. So as you can see here it used to be 27 seconds. Now it is down to 5 seconds.
Now we're gonna head back to the original timeline and delete the ones that I'm not gonna use anymore. Add the clips that I edited using the AI Quick Cut. So that's the most basic edit that you can do and you can even publish a video by just like compiling all your videos in one. But if you want to top it up a notch, if you want to keep your videos interesting and fun, you can add certain features here like music, transitions, effects. One of my favorite things to do to add some spice onto my videos is to go to Pinterest and look for different backgrounds. So I'm just gonna head on to Pinterest. I think I want to use this crumpled paper type of effect for the background. So I'm just gonna search crumpled paper background. This is the clip where I want to add my background on. So I'm just gonna press background here. Go to custom and add the ones that you downloaded a while ago. Reduce the size of the original clip and I don't know why but it's blurred right now for some reason. I don't want it to be blurred so I'm gonna put it to zero. You can find a lot of different backgrounds on Pinterest. You can find like watercolor designs, different shades, patterns. It gives some spice to your videos. This is brunch. I'm gonna put brunch. And of course, I'm gonna change the font. I love this retro font. And the color. So let's make it pink. I think pink matches well with the whole theme. You can also add different effects for the text here. Like it going from left to right, up to down. This one's also nice, like from like small to big. I think it's really like retro and cool. If you look through the bottom section here, you can also add different like filters. You don't have to make your own filter anymore or go to another app to make a filter. You can also put down the intensity if you don't want it to be too like out there. Retrato 6 is also really nice. I'm gonna use that. Here's a video of me eating the hamburger. It's gonna be too long if I just like include all of this. So I'm gonna cut this into two and the first part will be at the normal rate and the second part I'm gonna speed up. There's also a feature here where you can blur out your pores, your skin. So just head to the beautify icon. Personally, I don't really use editing like tools like this to like smoothen out my skin for videos, but some of us can have days where it's just not like the best. I'm just showing you guys that you can also do that here. I'm also going to add transitions by clicking this square button. And I think I want the uh, one going down. And I'm gonna shorten the length so it's quick. The cherry on top to any video to make it fun and uh, like vibey is to add music. So here they already have different kinds of like tunes that you can add and they're also copyright free. You can also import your own music if you want. So I'm just gonna use the one that I have. It's by DJ Quads called Coffee To Go. I love using jazz music to spice up my video because it's just like relaxing. It reminds me of being in a coffee shop. So I'm just gonna use this music. Hi everyone, it's Aika and welcome back to another vlog. So for today, the plan is to go shopping for a new bike and maybe pass by the drugstore to buy a few essentials. with how your video looks you're just gonna want to download it to 1080p that's what I personally use and there you go you just made your first ever YouTube video by the way you can also use this app to make like IG stories TikToks. they have different templates here that you can use so that is it for today's video I hope you guys learned something and I'm gonna add the link to where you can download this app in the description box they're also giving you three days of free trial for the VIP function so I hope you guys check them out and thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you all next week. Bye!